Hi. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Good. So, how did you want anything like that? I want it like the, uh, the, I still want it messy. I don't comb it or anything, I just let it go. Mm -hmm. Just trim, 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 trim just touch shorten the top it out. Series. Yeah, that'd be great. Square off the back. Yeah. But did you always want to be a... Uh, I always wanted to work, yeah, I always wanted to people. work with hair and people. Really? I was a beautician first, and then I decided I wanted to be a barber. Oh, really? So I went to beautician school, and then I came here and apprenticed with Bill. And hmm. How long have you been here for? Back the second time here? Yeah. Two years. Oh, okay. So did you, ever, always, did you think about doing anything else besides this? No. I, I am kind of interested in music. Like, what kind of music? Any music. I love music. All types of music. Yeah. My husband's in a band. How long has he been in the band for? He's been playing ever since he was a little boy. How many people are in the band? His brother, Frankie, and his nephew, Mikey, and, and then another boy named Ryan. So there's four of them. There's four? <laughs> What's the band's name? Oversoul. Oversoul. Do you know where they came up with that? No, I really don't. I know it has to do something with a higher power. Well, when I was younger, we listened to a lot of stuff. Started out with the first stuff that we ever learned to play and sing at the same time, was like the Eagles and stuff like that. Kept going on and on, just, just anything, anything you can listen to. Just pick it all up, anything that you could find. Take it all in, whatever was good, you keep it, well, the rest of it, you throw it away. In the 80s, we get into the metal scene, Iron Maiden, stuff like that. I've always loved music. I started playing saxophone when I was in fourth grade. I played until I was like a junior in high school. And uh, my oldest brother, Mike, he never really played, but he was a great lover of music. And he always would bring home records with Leonard Skinner and the Outlaws. And once I started playing, he'd bring home like Green Grass and High Tides and play the solo and say, wouldn't you like to be able to play that? You know? And a couple weeks later, I'd hear him come in and when the record was on, he'd see me there playing my aunt and playing a few of the riffs to it. And, I remember the look in his eyes and looking at me and that really, really inspired me and made me want to do it even more and more. That was like the first time that I really noticed that somebody appreciated what I was doing and what it felt like to get that appreciation. When I was younger, I mean, it was a lot of kind of everything, you know, from Fleetwood Mac to, to uh, Black Sabbath. One of my biggest ones is called the Iron Maiden. that came to the audition, brought a shotgun with him, wanted to spend the night and kept it under his pillow. Who's the drummer? Ryan. Ryan Oaks. And Frank is my son. Michael is the bass player, my grandson. When I was growing up, I always wanted to play guitar and sing. All I ever learned to play was the radio. <laughs> the radio. Before you go on stage, I'm all tense and nervous still, you know, after all these years. But after the first song, I'm home. That's the only way I can describe it, stage at home. 
It's tough. Um, you got to be serious about it if you really want to do it seriously, professionally. You got to treat it like a day job, you know? Work at it every day. There's no reason why you can't do it. If you love the music, that's all there is. And if you love it good enough to want to play your instrument at least once a day, then you definitely have something there worth working for. The best thing you could probably do is do it for yourself, you know? Play the music for yourself, and if anybody else likes it, you're right. Because if you try to impress everybody else, you know, you can't impress everybody. Oh, they've all been interested ever since I can remember. They were born in it, I think. <laughs> personal for me, not really as far as monetary money. You know, I just want to be able to do music, you know, pretty much all my life. Well, I've been doing it now, I'm 36, you know, I was kind of lost hopes of it making me a millionaire. At this point, I just do it because I love it, and I hope that everybody else will support it while I'm doing it, so that I, it's something I enjoy, so I can do something besides just a day job and survive while I'm doing something that I really enjoy as well. I do it because I have to. If I don't do it, I get really depressed. It's just like walking and talking, something I have to do every day, all the time, just it's an emotional outlet. Do they plan on like keep playing like in the future? Oh yeah. As far as they can I I think they'll go as far as they can go.